Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. Before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload new videos. So, since you are already in Canva, let's roll the intro. Okay, so here we are in Canva and the first thing we always do is to create a new dimension. Okay, so you click on create design and you can enter the, um, you know, if you have some custom dimensions in mind, you can just enter them here and um, start. Okay, but I've already created my dimension already. Okay, so here we are and um, we are really going to go through this. This is going to be one of the shortest tutorials you've ever had. Okay, so I pick my design and for this kind of design, you need a photo without a background, something like this. Okay, and uh, I highly recommend you use one like that. So if you are on Canva Pro, you can do this easily. All you need to do is to click on your image and effect, then you will see remove background okay, or background remover. Or if you are on Canva with the free version like myself, all you need to do is to visit remove the BG and the link will be in the description. Okay, so yes. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to go into photos and search for cathedral. So once I search for cathedral, there are several pictures here, but I want to go with this dark uh, design, okay, with this dark theme over here, because that's what I want. And the next thing I'm going to do is to add, um, a, you know, a black shape. Okay, so I just add a rectangle by pressing R on my keyboard, and I would choose black. Okay, I want a black color. And I'll just, you know, just to make it an overlay. So I just place it right behind my man over here. Then I reduce the transparency. So, no, not the transparency of the man, but the transparency of the um, of the black sheep. Okay. So just slightly. Okay. So 90, 88 is good. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is position my man up and I'll also change the filter to street okay because I want a black and white feeling for it. Then I'm going to go into my upload and scroll right down. Because I have this gradient background thing I always um, get to use and I have the link to this design or to this element okay in the description. Okay, so you can just grab it and um, download it and use it. Okay, so yes, I would add it and position it here, drag it, okay, to make sure it covers the full width and double click to drag it up, okay, because once you stretch it, um, it increases the, the size of it, so the darker part goes to the bottom. Okay, so I drag it up and I place it somewhere here, okay, and I just make copies of it, so I duplicate it several times okay so you can see what we are trying to do we are just trying to hide the sharp edge of our photo so after i do that i select all and i group them so that they become one single photo okay then what i'm going to do here is to add some text so i add text and i say let's say he was called tesh t-e-s-c-h-e -E, okay I come here and I change the font, uh, you know, the font type. I can use, okay, I can use, um, how is it called? Leaks pattern, okay? So I can just make it bigger, okay? Then I right click and send to back, okay? So this is what we have. So it means that it's behind the black um, ship we added. That's where it is. At the moment okay so yeah let it be there um, that way and i think it's fine the next thing i'm going to do is to go into element and add a stroke a brush stroke so b r u s h okay so there are several types over here and you can use you know, anyone at all so, okay so then i add this over here this is what i want to use okay so i can put it here okay just to center and I duplicate, okay, then I can flip it horizontally, okay, then I can duplicate again and flip horizontally again. This is what we have. So I select the first one and I choose a color. So there's this color I like to use, 
uh, I'm not sure of the color code, but yes. So this is what I want to use. And the color code is C6861A. Okay, so all I need to do now is to apply it to the rest. Okay. It's the same color code and same color code. Then I just have this here. Okay, and um, I add uh, my text again. So I press C on my keyboard. And I can say fish. Okay, which is the same name I have at the back. I stretch this I have it here maybe I'll just adjust my um, element just a little bit okay so I just you know I'm just adjusting my element so this is what I want okay and you can adjust it to any um, you know way you want and just not you know just make sure I don't move the gradient around i'll just lock it so that i can freely um you know move these things around okay i move it up a little bit okay yeah then i'm going to add an extra text so i press t on my keyboard and i just type maybe benjamin okay okay so benjamin and i go into my text and i choose Brittany. okay this is what this is how it looks like i would use the size use the size and position it to, you know, to the bottom yeah okay then maybe with our text we can add a drop shadow okay, so once we add it you see color we change it to black okay yeah so this is what i have at the moment now i'm going to add the shape just right here at the bottom and now it's stretch it okay and i'll change the color to you know a dark gray yeah this is fine and i move it up and what i do now is i can just duplicate my text okay and i can see um hosted by let's see cc um brothers I don't know who they are so just in case you know them just know that look they've been featured here okay so i stretch it then i'm just going to reduce the size so that it fits okay so reduce the size so i just reduce the size for it to fit here okay and um maybe to add a little bit of contrast i highlight this one and i change the color to what we started with then i just position it nicely okay so this is what we have at the moment and what else we are going to do or well, the next thing we're going to do is to add maybe a date and stuff like that so we're going to add some date and stuff like that okay so now i just say 22nd okay or january j a n okay 22nd okay so i push it here and i can say friday okay i just change the color to this and um, let's say it is going to be on a friday so i use the second text but this i want a lighter text like one so right okay so yes and i just say friday then i reduce i just reduce it and fix it here So I would use my Friday to this, okay, and um, I move it to the top. I don't know who's making that funny noise at the back. Like, honestly, it's just irritating me right now, honestly speaking. And um, I select all, okay, and hold shift to unselect, you know, the selected parts. Okay, so maybe hold shift, okay, select, and I duplicate, and I move it here, okay. Then let me do that again okay then i can just put to the time here maybe 8 p.m okay to 9 p.m i move it here and i i can reduce the size a little bit okay so now we just need to add some 
extra information let's say um location and stuff like that so i can just put location here i can say um i'm looking at a location right here which is 32 okay so, okay, so i can just put 32 32nd street avenue um bush highway okay and um yeah this can be here and center and maybe reduce the size a little bit then i can duplicate okay so i duplicate this and um, position it here then i can just see something like free booking okay at www.book.me you know like just to put like give some extra information and stuff like that and i come into my color and i change the color to this so maybe i can even go on here to change the text and i reduce the spacing a little bit and maybe to be fancy a little bit so i can just put this here and yes you change the color so this is what we have at the moment and i hope you enjoyed it you had fun you enjoyed all of what i've done so far and um, if you want more videos like this make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime i upload new videos the name is benjamin and i'll see you in my next video